Okay, I want to jump into something that uh, changed for me over the last several years. Um, really the advent of the explosion of data and just uh, having more and more data in your systems. Um, but also seeing companies like Facebook come along and kind of change some of the paradigms I think um, that data had historically. So the big thing is if you are working um, at a company where data equals money, um, and really this is pretty much any internet company at some level, you know, they're trying to take data and turn it into money at some, some level. Um, so if you're in a company where data equals money, um, never delete data. So this has really fundamentally changed, is just don't ever delete data. Um, so if you look at Facebook, um, they don't delete data, period. Um, they have you know, legal retention policies and stuff where they do archive or purge data, but they never delete data. So the idea being that there might be a time frame um, where you need to come back and look at that data. Um, if you delete it, it's gone. Um, if you don't delete it, you know, you can process it in the background. Um, so if I looked at how I used to develop tables, um, and this could really be any tabular format, um, but let's just say you have, you know, a table of customers here. Um, so you could have like an ID, a name, etc, etc, right? So back in the old days, um, I would actually kill this record, theoretically. Uh, and so if I ever wanted to, um, you know, report on that user, it's gone. You know, I don't know the time frame when this user was created or deleted or anything like that. Um, so this is really, um, not great, you know, and like if you're if you're using like SQL Server or some sort of database thing, you know, they have cascading deletes and stuff, right? So the amount of data that could be purged um, just by this one table um, could be pretty great, you know. Um, so I really recommend not doing that. What what more I've come to use is um, like if I'm using tables, I will have like a deleted a deleted on column which is nullable. So if you want, um, you basically, for all your live users in this case, um, you're searching for where deleted is not null. Um, but then like if you want to report on when this happened, you can. And so you can see things like this data was active from this date until this date. Um, so I really recommend capturing something like a deleted on field. Um, an another way a lot of companies or people do it um, is they'll move the data from source A to source B. That's another really great way of doing it. Um, you might be able to reduce cost um, in that process as well. So that's more of like an archival thing. Um, and then the other way is, yeah, if you have, <clears throat> if you don't want to do the date time, a lot of people do an is deleted flag. Um, so that's pretty much good too. So just mark your data is deleted and then stop using it from whatever your process is. Um, so I recommend doing that as well. Um, definitely stop deleting data. There's really no point. Um, the big thing is obviously is if a user wants you to delete data, just stop showing it, right? Um, but you know, keep that data, retain that data. If you need to act on it, you can. Anyways, I hope this was uh, insightful. Uh, chat soon. Have a good day. Bye.